So uh, I think the theorem also had an important influence on my own mathematical career in that when I was a teenager, at some point I realized that Fermat's last theorem had actually been proven. And uh, I started to read about what went into this. Uh, and so I learned about these fascinating objects of elliptic curves and modular forms, but I didn't know what a matrix was. So <laughs> <laughs> but somehow I worked my way backwards from this theorem trying to understand mathematics. Um, and so now in research, I'm still some, uh, the theorem is still some, uh, one of the key theorems that I'm trying to understand and generalizations of which I try to understand. Um, so how does this bijection work? One way to say how it works is that it relates the L functions of these things. 